What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jeff back in with another video. And you know, today I just want to talk about my Mavic 2. Love this drone, this is my go to drone. Of course, um, he shares some time with the Mavic Mini, which is a little small drone that I used to, you know, as my secondary drone. But this is my animal, this is my machine, this is the, my go to drone. I have it for almost a year, year and a half now. But one thing I've been noticing is that for some reason, when I fly deep in, not that deep, about a half a mile one now, sometimes even less. If I go behind some trees, let's say I'm in the park or anything like that, I'm behind some big trees or some big, you know, some, I do lose connection. Of course, you know, being the machine, and it is a great DJI machine, it'll come back up and, you know, with that go, you know, come back home feature, whatever it's called, return home feature, as they call it. But the fact that it just loses, you know, connection that easily, it kind of, you know, it worries me sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I wish I could have something where, you know, then you have to stop the recording and it just comes back automatically to it reconnects to the to the receiver or the, or the remote. I mean, what's going on? But then I thought about a lot of people be getting these um, alien tech type of uh, contenders for their units, for the remote. But that's a whole new bogey. That's two three hundred dollars and you have to be carrying that big bulky remote control with that big attachment. I mean... But I didn't remember that when I bought the NLD, meaning the mod client that you get online for you know, the no limit drones, which basically kills the no fly zone, the NFC of the built in on the you know DJI drones, which is great. I have a free bird, I can fly it anywhere. Of course, I'm responsible, but there were a lot of times that I can fly certain areas. You already know the story. Put the no fly zone remover and boom i could fly where i used to fly before and you know i'm very careful with it within that app now okay within that app there was patches remove the no fly zone speed boost and there was another one that was called signal boost now for my reading is that it comes internally with a 0 0.4 watt signal boost but with this update supposedly it could go up to 1.8 watts which is basically you know, 8, 12, 16, it's three and a half times, you know, the power that it has internally coming from the factory. So that's something great. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to update my drone. I'm going to see if I find that update within, you know, the patch that I bought. Of course, you can get this at nolimitdrones.com. That's with a Z at the end. I don't promote them, you know what I'm saying? I did use them. Remember, guys, that if you decide to use them, make sure that It'll tell you what drones you have and up to what firmware you could downgrade it. And the downgrade app that they give you is free. So you should downgrade your drone first before you buy the, the, the patch client. So since they give you the chance to like download the client to downgrade the firmware, that's free. Then if you know you could downgrade, you know, downgrade the firmware, then you go and buy the client, you know, buy the patch. It's about... I think $45 to $50 right now. I know the exact player price. I have to check online. But I'll leave it down in the description. So let's just connect this bird in. And let me see if I could do this patch on my bird. Being that it already has the no fly zone patch. I'm going to put in this signal boost patch. And, you know, hopefully I'll take it on next time to the same park and see if I get better signal strength. So let's do this. So it says here, I'm currently running 0 100, which is perfect for because I already have mines with the patched up with the NLD remover, you know, the no fly zone remove. So I have no problems with that. Um, it has speed settings. I could also modify my speed settings and all that. But I'm happy with this drone, the speed that it has, you know, so I'm very happy with it. So I really don't have anything, you know, to do with this. I don't want to touch it. But if I wanted to, of course, I could. You, you could make it faster. Of course, this is the most important thing. No fly zone. Remove of the NFC. Empty NFC. OB. Yes. Remove NFC patch. You know, you click here, you can remove it. But mine is already removed, so I'm not gonna touch that either because it already has it. Now, what I really want to do here is come down here to it says FCC signal boost settings. It says it's compatible, and let's do the patch. Plug it. Do the patch. So I include it 
And it says apply SCC mode. Blah, 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 blah. Do the payload. It's writing on it. This really doesn't matter what firmware you're in because it'll do it. So boom, 100% done. It's as easy as that. See how simple that was? Super simple. It's done. It's, you know. So close it up. And I guess it'll be till next time that I'm going to try it out in the same part. Like I said before, fly over some trees. I bring it down behind the trees and I lose signal. It's a signal strength thing. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, I boosted three times the original boost. So it went from 0 0.4 watts about, about you know, half a, half a watt to like 1.6 watts. So that's basically three times, four times stronger. Hope that was any help to you guys. Till next time, it's your boy Jeff. See ya.